RV Tech Pro, what's up guys? Got the little guys out today. Went on the Mack truck, took care of my guy. Picked up another ratchet. This, this one's a Taiwan uh, ratchet. And the size and things that I was looking for, they didn't have anything USA. This is the only thing that he had in a small form factor, 3 8 that was USA made. And it's a coarse tooth. So this has a low tooth count, whereas uh, the Taiwan stuff that they sell has the higher tooth count. But of course you can go to different brands and get a higher tooth count. You can go with like your, uh, on these Snap-ons it's a 72. This is the 72 tooth count, which I was wrong about the dual 80s. I thought the dual 80s were also 72 tooth, but I went back and watched like a uh, infomercial from uh, that Snap-on put out their cells. They said it's uh, the dual 80s are 82. I didn't think that they were. I just went from 72 to 80, but they are. But in the quarter inch stuff, it's still 72. In the 3 8 stuff, it's uh, 80. So take a look at this, uh, this Mac ratchet. So I was looking to see if you know, I, I got the Knee Pros compact head, which is basically their, their quarter inch deal. And I didn't like, I don't like how, how high the button sticks up. I don't like the way the button sticks up. So I was just looking at some other manufacturers to see if they're all like that or what, but I couldn't get this. I got this in a flex head. Um, I couldn't get it in a um, 3 8 anvil. They don't. Um, they don't make this one with the uh, with the 3 8 head like the other Mac uh, ratchet. So I got it in a quarter because if I'm going that tight, that small, most of my most of my sets that are. Most of my sets, they're gonna be in the uh, quarter inch sockets. They go up to 14. Some of them go up to 15. And uh, I don't see myself using a little tiny ratchet with anything, uh, you know, much bigger than 15 millimeters. So I, di I didn't, it didn't stop me from getting this quarter inch one. Very, very fine tooth count. <laughs> Unlike this one, I think this is like a 36. I think this is like a 36. Yeah, I think that's like a 36T. And then of course, the knee pros is like butter. Like butter. And of course the the Koken is too. Now the Kokens are a 72 tooth mechanism as well, but this is one of the older, this is the other style of Koken and the stubby right here. And I believe this is a 36 as well. So both of those, that's like a 36. Has a low back drag, but still, I believe that one, this particular one that I have, and I'm sure they make newer models now. They have different lines. That's just a serial number. Um, there's a part number out on this thing. Oh, that, maybe that is the part number. I believe that one's the the lower tooth count right here on, on that um, on that on that Coke and stubby. So. Russ pointed out some good points about this, some information I didn't show. So I probably should have showed the back of the, cause this is such an awesome tool. This, uh, this, this diamond wheel. And he was asking about the RPM. So Russ, uh, Mr. Potter, this is a quarter inch Arbor shank. 30,000 RPMs is the max, two inches and the grit 36 medium 
Now they do make like a five inch version of this. I saw it on uh, one of the Coon Trucking episodes when he was on uh, his independent tool truck dealer's truck. And uh, they have come out with a like a like a four inch or five inch uh, wheel. So I, I don't need that in a straight grinder. I use those larger wheels on like an angle grinder or, or something like that. Um, so I'm happy with the the two inch one. But yeah, part numbers for the for the ratchet that I picked up today. Right there. Wasn't really worried about it because this this ratchet was under. 100 bucks this was like 80 dollars so mac still puts the mac tax on it as far as it being a uh taiwan product but like if this ratchet was like 100 120 like if if, if, if this ratchet was snap one money i wouldn't have bought it because at that price i want that usa you know what i'm saying nepros japanese they have good quality, you know, they don't make junk. And I still would not have paid snap on money for this because uh, I know what I'm getting 100% with the snap on. Not saying there's anything wrong with this, uh, this knee pro stuff, but the ease of the warranty. So in that price point that I would pay for this, and, and this was like the same price. So it's like 80 bucks. This is $85. This was $85. Uh, the non-flex head is $80 in, in this Mac. The flex head, you pay $5 more if you want the flex head version. On the knee pros, this was $85. I got it because I wanted to see how compact the compact head was on it. Plus, I never bought a knee pros ratchet before. I've seen them all over YouTube. And when I uh, came across Coombs video and he was telling me how these were uh, a new line of ratchets that they had came out with. And, and really it's just the old quarter bodies, but they put the, the 3 8 kit in it. But anyway, the compact head ratchets um, is something that they more recently started doing. I went ahead and let that be my gateway into the knee pro serena still waiting on the uh a totally redesigned full size knee pro ratchet um which has been streamlined strengthened and technology has built that up still waiting on that and when it gets here i'll do the video on that and go over all the differences from the uh the original version which is uh i'd say 99 percent of what you see out there in the videos, knee post ratchets with the uh, with the 90 on them, which the new ones don't have that. So, pulled out a couple of little guys a day to compare to this new little guy, and uh, mainly the button. You know, I like how the button is a lot more flush on this, and. Part of the reason why I bought this uh, knee pros ratchet is because people talked about how flush the button was on the regular ones. I didn't know the compact head ones, the button would be so egregiously high. So I don't like that about this one. I'll have to see how it works out. If I have to get in a really tight spot, that could be a problem. Um, most of the times I shouldn't be in that situation, but if I had an option between this and one with a normal button, I would go with one like this. So, but I do like the difference in the sizes that I, I'm ending up with here, helping to fill out uh, my sets, because as you can see, uh, if I put them in order, I think the Mac's a little shorter. Yeah, Mac's a little shorter. And then the Koken. And then 
this guy, and then the snap on. So I, I like the little, the size range that I ended up with, with this. As far as the uh, tool truck grade, I would consider all of these to be tool truck grade, even though the Nipros and the Koken, of course, are not on our tool trucks here, except for the independent, the Indy trucks. But I still consider those to be uh, tool truck quality tools, the Koken and the Nipros. They are very high quality tools. So I have other stubby ratchets that are not tool truck grade, so I didn't include them in this right here, but I like them. My Icons, my Tectons, um, my uh, Craftsman USAs, and like the Tone. Those are good ratchets, but this lineup, just tool truck great. All right. So don't forget about the IPA guys, especially if you use these cutting wheels. I have a Dremel tool. I have the Milwaukee version of uh, what is a brand name. Dremel, Dremel is a brand name, but a rotary tool, a straight die grinder, whatever. And I go through those discs like crazy cutting stuff because I like the, the small form factor of the two inch wheel. And uh, I go through a lot of these uh, Milwaukee ones. You know, I run them down. I like how thin that is, but I can deal with the thickness of that. That started off at that size and it doesn't take me long to run them down. So to have a real diamond, uh, you know, one that actually will hold up based on other YouTubers reviews, that's A1 for me. And uh, that's pretty big for me. So that's what I got for you today. RV Tech Pro out.